Oh, that's the wrong window. Oh. Been a while since I've actually used the webcam, huh? Oh, it's a bit fucking, uh, bit dark in here, so let's turn that cunt on. There we go. Ugh. There you can see my beautiful face. Ugh. It's, it is sunny as fuck outside, but uh, I like keeping the blinds closed because I'm a fucking hermit. So. Oh, it is a nice day outside. That's a fucking shame, isn't it? <laughs> because I'm not going to be going out to enjoy it. I'm going to be sitting here playing video games. Which I can't remember how to fucking play. <laughs> Honestly, it's been so long since I've touched this that I've forgotten everything. Except, like, the story. Where the fuck even were we? I know we, we, we did some stuff, like on the main port and okay I'm in the unreliable apparently um okay that's tab apparently I have a fucking eye patch I need to repair my guns hello Pravati aka the best fucking uh companion yeah I want to repair all equipped Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, I shall do just that. Let me actually get outside. Uh, let me figure out what I need to do. And, and then I will. Uh, journal. I gotta fucking remember everything. Companion's quest. Uh, Nyoka and... F Felix. Okay. Um, where the fuck am I? Real quick. I think I'm in the right place. <laughs> Uh, I legit don't even remember what the fuck I did last time. I, I do remember talking, doing Felix's side quest because I was obligated to. And I remember talking to the dude in the base, and he was like, "Account." I think. I don't fucking know, dude. I I do remember Nyoka's side quest because it was about her old war buddies or whatever, or hunting buddies or something. And like, they got to kill this big fucking. It's not a death claw, it's the death claw equivalent. The big fucking insect queen bitch. That's all I fucking remember. Two. Three. Four. Um. What's in my fucking inventory? Okay, uh, so this, this is my... This is my sneaky sit. Oh yeah, sure enough, sneak attack. And then my heavy armor is... I'm assuming that one. Oh, what damage to creatures? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, yeah, I think that is my helm. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, now. Uh, OBS. Can I just straight rotate that? Properties. Let me have a look here. Um, I don't think I can. Because with a webcam, I know I can. Because it literally has an option to flip vertically. But the game doesn't have that exactly. So I wonder if I can just flip it. No, that, that's not what I wanted. Eh, ah, get back.
You know, I made this an option, then I realized this might not even, eh, might not even be possible. Because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I should have looked at this earlier. Uh, transform? Oh, here we go. Transform. Rotate 180 degrees. Aha! I've done it! Okay, that's that done. Now I need to flip this shit. So if, it's, if it was rotating, I'd be down here. And I need to be the right way up. Which means webcam properties. Unflip. Oh god, this feels weird. Hello. I'm back to normal. And then this needs to be here. But it also needs to be upside down. Uh, transform. Rotate. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Perfection. Oh, this feels weird. I'm looking at myself the right way up and it just doesn't feel right to me. But I'm going to have to get used to it. Alright, where's my timer? Set the shit for... What is it? 20 minutes. Tell you what, since I couldn't do it yesterday, let's let's go for a bit longer. Clock. Timer. Let's go 25 minutes. There you go. Done. Oh, that looks, still looks fucking weird. <laughs> I'm just looking at my stream and it just looks so dumb. Where's the, uh... Where's the fucking front gate, eh? Oh, yeah, what am I doing? Journal. We trasked out with it's time to return there. Oh, okay, so I need to find the evidence. Apparently it's optional, but it'll probably help me. That's, that's Harlow there. I want to find his evidence, which is... Apparently through a fucking wall. Nice. That machine stole my... Um, map. Can I not get a, a closer look at the map? I guess not. Why do we even have one of these? Oh, never mind. There's a door right fucking here. That was piss easy. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot he had a fucking pet dog. What's the word? So it is. Thus ends Rupus Trask. Once a sensible man, by and by a fool, presently a corpse. Appar according to you, yeah, to but... what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to an end. The Trask had some things to say about you. And I've got my own misgivings. I forgot how fucking big Felix's nose is. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Funny enough. Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. You've got a lot of nerve lying to my face. How should I know? What the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Watch out! Oh, okay. Well, that went to uh, the hell in a handbasket real quick. That's what you get. 
This is gonna be Score one for Felix! Here I go! Ugh, this is this is a fucking madhouse. Hold on. Let's say what's the fucking medic button, but it's uh, it's it's G. Everyone, all right? Wow, that was easy. Well, that went to hell in a handbasket real fucking fast. Just casually pulls out his fucking weapon, like, yep, time to die. Like, alright. I'll just take all your shit, thanks. I mean, nobody here to fucking tell me otherwise, except my companions, and they don't give a shit. Like, they're all fucking dead. <laughs> they put them on themselves, they fired first. That's their own damn fault. He who fires first shall lose. Oh, I wanted to take up my hammer so I could set it. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, my anti right gear is still better. I mean, I don't really need to loot everything, but I'm going to anyway. Like, look at all this shit. There's so much fucking ammo that it's just everywhere, dude. Uh, apparently, I can't loot him. I guess that's everything. Cool. Oh, wait, wait. Found the toss ball card. Uh, add to junk, add to junk. You can put your normal clothes back on, because I doubt I'm going to use you after this. Wait, that's 19. What's this? 24. That actually looks better on her as well. Nice. Alright, cool. Uh, I need to add that to my junk. Doesn't have very good sell value. Even though it's 63. Don't know why I wasn't wearing this myself, actually. Um. Ah, oh, right, vendor. That's what I was doing. I was trying to find. Fucking tab, deep shit. Inventory. Junk. I want to unmark that from junk. That's what I wanted to do. I'm trying to collect all these hospital cards. Keyword trying. Oh, what the fuck is it? 
nice. 8,000 bits. I mean, is there really anything I actually need to buy? I'm pretty much decked out when it comes to weapons anyway, so... Teleport. Ah, right, hold. That could have gone better, that could have gone worse. Ugh. Yeah, it still looks weird. I'm just looking at my stream and I'm the right way up and it, it just... The entire stream being upside down doesn't put me off. It's me being the right way up puts me off. I have a Discord notification. Gee, I wonder who. I'm too bad I'll never find out. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Good for them, I guess. Oh, he's further up. Yes. Aw, this is no fun anymore. <laughs> this is... This is definitely not how I imagined it would end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. I just shoot things. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. <laughs> Get drunk. No kidding. I'm glad you keep the kitchen stocked. You've given me a lot to think about. I love how I've also picked the middle option for all three times. Whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. Level up. Christ. Fucking out of nowhere, just banging on my fucking door. Ah, oh, fuck, what? Well, does it matter where I go? I guess I'm landing in Fallbrook. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Nice.
Uh, who am I taking? Fucking Nyoko. I was like, wait, whose companion quest am I doing now? I can't even remember what the fucking main story was. I know I've got to revive all the dudes, but like, that's that's the overarching quest line. I don't know where I am in the quest line. I mean, I can find that easily just by looking at my fucking journal. Just going, hey, this is what you need to do. Like, oh, okay. It feels so weird coming back to this after like a fucking month or whatever. Journal. Radio Free Monarch. Ah, uh, yeah, Monarch is the, uh, yeah, it's this planet. I remember now. I didn't need to land in Fallbrook. I should have landed elsewhere. Too late now. Oh, actually, hold on. Uh, what armor does she have on? Oh, it's just a standard one. It, it's 22. Like, that's feasible enough. Run in, run in, run in, run in, run in. Do a lot of this on fucking Outer Worlds, I've noticed. Just consistently running. I forgot Monarch was the was the literal Australia of the uh, of the solar system. Where all the deadly animal animals try to kill you and shit. I'm pretty sure I made that joke. It'd been reminiscent of me to not go, hey, this is my homeland. Speaking of, country's still fucked, by the way. <laughs> Wait, what? Bushfires, floods, and uh, and now we got the fucking virus. Oh boy. But my gun's been acting funny. Used to be, I had to correct for a bit of leftward drag. Got used to standing just so, and after a while, it put a thorn in my side, something awful. Lately, though, it ain't pulling. I find my stance much improved. Oh, that's real good to hear. It took me a while to, uh. <laughs> Never mind. What, girl? Have you been touching my stuff? I'm. S That's the wrong button. I wanted to crouch. I can't remember the crouch button. It's that one. Why is the? Why is the sensitivity so low? Hold on. That's a bit better. Oh, fucking... Fuck him up, Bravati. Ow. Yeah, I pressed C because I thought it was the crouch button. But the crouch button is fucking control. I've gotten so used to I'm um sorry, I should have asked. I just got real bored and I seen you leaning and the gun was sitting right there. You know, the last time I caught someone messing with my equipment, I threw them in a sulfur pool. But I appreciate the help. You wanna make modifications, just come ask me, alright? I do love the uh constant six FPS, that's fantastic. I remember why I didn't like fucking streaming this game, because it runs like ass when I'm trying to stream. Also, why am I not fast traveling? Hello? Like a goddamn idiot. I'm so used to not having fast travel that I forgot it was a thing. I was like, oh yeah! Huh. Has it not been 25 minutes already? Oh no, it's still got another 6 minutes apparently. It's a fucking long 20 minutes. Right now, I'm gonna figure out how the fuck I'm supposed to get up there. Wait, what even is this? A 
Search the hive for remains. Okay. Oh, I just noticed all those fucking manta pillars. I should be using this thing. Ah, oh, he did die. The fuck? Where did you come from? In the middle of killing fucking um, ro uh, fucking animals and shit, and I've just got this fucking dude trying to snipe me. Like, hello. Okay, now I can actually see the bastards. Fucking popped his head off. Fucking beautiful. Just popped that shit clean off. Sniping's a good job, mate. Great outdoors. Guarantee you won't go hungry. But at the end of the day, someone's gonna want someone dead. Here we go. I haven't set foot in here since. Well. Oh boy. Ugh. I just realized I probably should have rotated my frame for the webcam as well, but I'm too fucking lazy. I keep pressing C. It's fucking crouch. Uh, fucking control. What is this thing? It's a shovel. Ah, oh, yeah, you know what? I didn't even fucking catalog all these uh, weapons either. What are they using? They use light machine gun. Heavy machine gun. Okay. They're both over a thousand DPS, so. Q. 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 We'll just get rid of all of these. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting manticores. Hang on, what does the journal say? Find the remains and retrieve the medallions. Okay. There's a lot of them there, so let me try and grab these fucking things first. Jesus Christ, look at how many of them are.
be nice if I had like a grenade or something and I could just fucking toss in there. Well, that was fucking easy. Oh, there's the timer. Alright, let me finish this little area and then we'll, uh, I'll flip it back. This is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. We hauled in steel, hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. She had a head for numbers, helped us trade hides for food and materials, negotiated contracts, turned out to be mighty useful. I love how this is a very serious scene, Clara, and it's all in upside down. Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and it's also stuttering like crazy. Me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. Now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. You mean like you haven't been getting sentimental for the past, like, six hours? Hello? Anyway, let's turn this shit back to where it's supposed to be now that the uh, timer is up. <sighs> where the fuck is it? Transform. Rotate. Back up to the top you go. I gotta do the same for me. Wait, no. Webcam. Properties. Flip. There we go. Back to where I normally belong. This, this feels correct. <laughs> it feels right. Right, Manta Queen. I'll let her get the kill. Ooh, fuck hell. This thing is wildly inaccurate. But Lord, if it don't do some damage. How you doing, Pravati? You, uh, you doing alright there? There we go, I'll heal you guys too. 
Oh, I gotta talk to you now. Hang on. Put back on the classic gear. Uh, that one and that one. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. It's very fitting to have the corpse in the background as I'm talking to her. This is, this is a very nice spot. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. <laughs> Spoken like a true huntswoman. You'd have fit right in. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd... I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. What? Why? Them's painful memories, Captain. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. All right, Captain. Thanks. You should always remember every memory, not just the good, uh, not just bad ones, or not just good ones. You need both, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Hang on, but for which? It's a faction quest, yeah, but for which faction? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty much in good terms with all of these fucking people anyway, except maybe Groundbreaker could be a bit better, I guess, but like... Like, for which faction is that for? That's what I want to know. Whatever. Where's the fucking exit? It's over here. I hope the stuttering decides it wants to fix itself. I doubt it will. This my PC just can't handle apparently playing this game and streaming it. Well, I don't know if it's the PC or the internet. I'm pretty sure it's just the PC. The internet's fine if it can it can stream just about any other game. So why well, should other worlds be any different? So yeah, that's no, the PC. But then again, this rig is like six years old. It is reaching the end of its lifespan. Well, not the end of it, but, like, outdated. It's pretty low-end compared to most stuff these days. Like, I've only got, like, a 970 in it. I need to be fast-traveling. Um, yeah, it's only got a fucking 970 in it, so... I think, like, an i5, I think? Um, 8 gigs of DDR3 or 4... No, four. Um, no, three. The laptop has a DDR4. Uh, it's got a fucking 100 gig SSD, three terabyte. I wonder if Hiram's home. <laughs> Just kidding. Guy never sits uh, outside. I wonder how they punch a signal through the gas. Professional streamer. Science magnetic field. Can't be easy. 
Oh, those are good people. I thought I had to fucking shoot my way into this fucking base again. I don't know why I didn't fast travel to the station itself, but anyway. Ugh. I remember doing that shit on some of my earliest streams, just fucking cracking a can right next to the fucking mic. Those, those were the, uh, the good old days of Downey streaming, when I had the shitty headset mic. Well, actually, funny enough, it was this headset uh, that I was using. Or well, this type of headset. I've replaced this quite a few times since then. Um, but it's been the same, like, rig headset, and this is the little mic that I used to use. But now, of course, I have this beautiful $200 microphone that I can speak clearly into and speak like a that? professional. It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? Does it matter? Job's done. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> oh, I believe it will. But the price I pay won't be to you. No, we've a bigger deal to settle. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. This game just had to try and take the piss out of most shit. Eternal, no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? However, you're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. <laughs> if that's really all, let's just get it done with and be on our way. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. I think you'll hear if it electrocutes me, mate. Also, I forgot how fucking, like, great Pavati is. I'd like to mention. Like, her motto looks really nice, and, um, I really like her voice. I forget how great Bravati is. I'd almost call it heresy for me to forget how good Best Girl is, but I've seen the light once again. Ah, fuck. <sighs> and I'm pretty much obligated to keep her at all times. I don't know who I'm going to keep as my secondary. Probably Nyoka? She's actually pretty good. I do like her uh, special ability. Is that your way of hitting on me? I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. <laughs> what in the void blasted hell is that? That is a ship. Let's fucking hope it's not my ship. 
Oh wait, no, I parked. Yeah, no, it's not my ship. Well, I guess I'm, uh... Black holes. Did you see that? <laughs> Look, there's not enough room in this <laughs> So one of us has to knock it off. Right. I reckon we both know who that'll fall to. Yeah, me. Oh well, a pity for the crew. But I can't see how it affects me. Dude, this guy's my spirit Hi. animal. Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Did or did not. But Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. Yeah, fair point. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Ah, here comes the choice. module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do so long as you leave me out of it. Which means get off my void damn channel. I'm more than finished with you lot. So it's either give it to the uh, fucking extremist dudes or wait, journal. <laughs> they could still stick the landing. Zero from zero out of ten from the monarch judge. Nice. Nice, nice. Alright, fast travel. Map. Where the fuck did it land? Way over there. Okay. I was like, gee, I hope that's not my ship. And I'm like, wait a minute. No, I parked my fucking ship on the other side of the planet. We're fine. If my ship would have crashed, I would have been in the fucking thing. Oh, game. Calm down. Come on, you lot. Let's go and fucking find out what the fuck's on this ship. Oh yeah, that's right. I cleared out like this entire fucking area. I hope Edgewater don't end up like this. This is what you get when a corporation takes a dump and walks off without cleaning it up. Th th me. That's a mantic queen. Yeah, let me just casually fucking like kill a man. Oh, it's two mantic queens. Very cool. All right. Well, hopefully I'll be able to at least get one of them. Here we go. Game. Oh, it's fucking dead, I think. I don't know. I can't tell through all the pixels! Oh, yeah, it's dead. You gonna run now? I'm just letting them do the work because apparently this thing wants to keep freezing on me. I also don't know how this works, but whatever. I can't even see where the fuck this swarm is. There it is. Everyone all right? Well, that went well. This area is suicide. If you got a way around it, ain't no sh. Is it really? Uh. I mean, no, not really. Oh, dude, it's the it's the north route on um. In New Vegas. I need to stop hitting C. Hey, fuckface, turn around. Nice one. Oh, never mind, he's fucking dead. Oh, 
He's coming this way. Oh, they've been alerted. Oh, he's fucking dead. Well, they were alerted, then they all just pissed off, apparently. God, that does so much fucking damage on a sneak shot. That's disgusting. It's like a full 1,000. That's a Manta Queen. And apparently there's nothing else, so fuck it. Look at that. Fucking do all this myself if I have to. Fucking, fucking swarms, dude. That's so dumb. That's like the one thing I can't headshot. The fuck do you mean this is suicidal, huh? This is piss easy. I haven't used a single health kit. Because Sneaky Sniper is OP as shit. Oh, there's some more dudes. You know what this calls for? Wait, what the fuck are these? Oh, dude, the big dog horse. What the fuck do you call them? Raptodons. Yeah, these fucks. Fucking dead, dude. Oh, what a fucking shot that was! Oh, that's a mega. Okay, I was wondering where the big boy was. Come here, you bastard. Fucking hell! There we go. That big bastard. Uh, that big bastard surely took a fucking beating. Oh, what armor do I have on? Okay, it's the light armor. Cool. Like I said, piss easy. Well, I suppose if I was by myself, this would be a lot harder. But uh, companions are pretty good. Well, something I'm playing this on normal, so like, eh. If I actually wanted a challenge, I'd put it on hard, but I just sort of want to play the game, I guess. Oh shit, she uh, she made quite an impact. Whoops! Oh, I hit C again instead of fucking crouch. Every fucking time. Now, by the way, ah, uh, my fucking skin is burning. Oh Jesus Christ! Why are they so fast? Everyone, all right? Why, why? Why was he so fast? He just fucking zoomed. Oh, they're literally right there. Ah, oh, I didn't even see the little shits in front of me. I can pretty much reject most of them because they're actually pretty garbage. The extra perk points aren't worth it. Go on ahead, Captain. I'm not keen on ships, even when they're in the best of shape. Yep, we'll be keeping watch here. Fucking pussies. Requires gunships, Captain Key. Well, it's probably on one of these fucking bodies. Ah, oh, there we go. No, it was in the fucking console. Imagine that.
Oh, jeez, this fucking lopsidedness is fucking putting me off. Uh. Alright, cool. Now, does it give me the option of who the fuck I can give it to? Give the model to Sanja or Graham? Hmm. Should I give it to a bunch of religious nut jobs or the people just trying to get by in life? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with a flatter, thanks. Because, uh... Fuck the colonists, because they remind me of Caesar's Legion. And the only really good thing about Caesar's Legion was Caesar himself. And, uh, Graham... Graham's no Caesar. Caesar's Legion was also still the worst choice in New Vegas, despite Caesar being who he is. You can't change my mind, by the way. I'm going the wrong direction. I should have transport, uh, teleported in to fucking Stella Bay. I don't know what I was doing. I'm basically just forcing myself through two uh, loading screens instead of just one. I'm a dumbass. Also, I need to shave. I only shaved like last week, and then it's all just pfft, back. Fuck me, dead. Then again, I guess I can't complain because it's only my face I really have to shave. If I had to shave anywhere else, I'd be like, eh. Hello, Sanja. Speaking of shaving, look at this fucking dude's beard and low polys. If the iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but. They're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. Well, because the module controls the weapons systems. Because once we mount them on Stellar Bay's walls, no Marauder or Raptodon will ever be a threat to us again. Stellar Bay will be as secure as any other settlement in Halcyon. The board's own salvage and recovery clause 32B would say differently. And they won't dare challenge us over this. Not after the data you found on their experiments here. I forgot you existed. Look, Celia. She's being funny again. I don't think so, sir. Really? Well, I could have sworn... Well, that's not important. What is important is that there's a considerable distance between us and that ship. And most of it is inhabited by Marauders and Raptodons. The Raptodons weren't even the fucking problem. The Mana Queens put up more of a fight. Excellent. At last, we have what we need. I wouldn't get excited just yet, sir. It looks like the Iconoclasts followed you. I have word they're gathering in the ruins outside of town. I'm afraid we've got to fight them. They'd knock our walls down trying to get that module. Looks like this means... War. Huh! What is it good for? Absolutely nothing! Come on now! Wait, you can't just leave us to fight them alone! <laughs> it actually would be very imprudent. We don't have much in the way of resistance. You want me to fight an entire army? They'll definitely get that module, and once they do, they will definitely come after you. With their gunship. She's actually quite right about all of that. As much as I hate to admit it. Honestly, one good paper cut will do me in for the day. Sir, we really don't have time for this. Right. I'll lock the south gate to keep them out. You'll have to approach from the north. Good luck. So these motherfuckers want me to take on an entire army. Alright, cool. Can do, boss. Ugh. I better be getting paid for this shit. Well, then again, if I can just sit on a hill and just fucking pew pew, then I'll be fine. 
So long as I don't have to be in direct confrontation with them, because my light machine gun is set up for plasma damage, which means it's more effective against animals, not people. So, uh, hmm. Should be interesting. But I do have the sniper rifle, so I should be fine. Probably. I guess I'm just following the MSI troopers, I guess. Lamau, get fucked. Oh shit. I can't fucking see. There's so much shit in the way. Get him, Bravati. Get him. Nice fucking aim. Ah! Whew! That son of a bitch was uh, laying some quite a bit of lead into me there. He fucking pretty much point blanked me with that fucking shotgun or whatever it was he was holding. Pretty sure it was a shotgun, considering the amount of burst damage he was doing. Oh, there's like no one on the fucking bridge. Nice. Not gonna lie, I thought there'd be resistance on the bridge itself, but uh, I guess not. Oh, they're still fighting down here, apparently. What a fucking shame. Ooh, he fucking- I dropped him. Can I aim, please? Holy shit. If I can stop twitching. Deal with the one that's closer to me, thanks. Fucking dropped him. Well, I think it was a chick, actually, but it doesn't matter. Who's next? This is surprisingly, besides the one panic moment I've had, this has actually been pretty easy. Hey, how you doing? Boop! Time to back off. Fuck off, will you? Get away from my girl, you fuck. Come on, blow up the fucking... There we go. Third time's the charm, as they say. Hang on, there's still one more fuck lurking somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he's in the actual thing. Time to swap to the heavy armaments. Where's the 63? There's the 63. Actually, no, I think I'm gonna go through the front door. Just fucking... Knock, knock! Who's there? Death. <laughs> I love how he just stood there and took it like a fucking man, dude.
mostly doing this for them, not me. So it's all MSI all the time now, huh? Here's hoping they can actually fight against the boar. On the Battle of Stella Bay. I should have ripped its guts out, blown it apart. I gotta stop this. Even if it made you mad. Let's be honest here, these two would have fought each other no matter what I would have done. If I had given it to the other blokes, they still would have fought. If I destroyed it, I guarantee you they still would have fought. So don't worry, Pavati. This was an unavoidable outcome, unfortunately. I can put my fucking standard gear back on now. I'm actually not that far from... No, I'm not. Okay. I might as well just fucking walk. I'm literally just outside Stubble Bow. Basically, just did a fucking loop. I hope this gate's still not locked. Okay, it's not cool. Just fucking knock on it. Like, I'm not an iconoclast, I swear. Also, what a stupid name that is, I might add. Iconoclasts? Like, what? Like, I get it, they're iconic or whatever. There's probably a deeper meaning to it that I'm just, like, completely missing, but I do not care for the Iconoclasts or one bit. Because they've got no charisma. So it's like, alright, well I guess I'll just go with the standing guys then. Because I know for a fact that they're actually, that they're more, uh, stable. You're back. <laughs> and in one piece. <laughs> Does this mean you? I, I mean we won? We did indeed, sir. I won, thank you. I believe it. Not that I'm really surprised, but... Your fucking MSI guards weren't much fucking help. You did it! I mean, we did it! Oh, I certainly will. Between our reinstatement on the board and the gain of this ship, we'll usher in a new age of prosperity for the people of Monarch. That's a hefty promise. You've got Monarch's hopes up, Sanjar. Don't go messing this up like our last overlords did. And perhaps in time, I can use my position on the board to turn things around for the rest of Halcyon. You really mean that? That's the nicest. Celia, put that down in today's minutes. Already done, sir. Anyhow, <laughs> thank you. And good luck. To Fluttery you. gets you everywhere. Right, now then. MSI Soltus, what the fuck did he give me? 720 DPS, heavy weapons, magazine size, energy. Special effect burn. Well, it does a, long more, a lot more than my fucking plasma rifle, I'll uh, give it that much. The problem is it's plasma damage and... My light machine gun already does plasma damage. Where's my heavy gun that uses light ammo? You asked for it? Jesus Christ. Jeez, I used the, uh... No wonder the hunting rifle wasn't doing anything. Because it was fucking broken as shit. I mean, I'm not using the plasma rifle anyway, so I might as well fucking put on the the MSI uh, Saltasira. Wait, where the fuck? Oh, there you are. Okay. Right now, where the fuck is my ship? Oh yeah, it's over in Fullbrook. Mm. 
Don't ask me why I parked in Fourbrook, but I did. Hey, FTL, Faster Than Light. I need to play that game still. I've had it in my Steam library for like years and I never even touched it. Bioka is drunk. Surprise. She is? I need to see this. Hold on. I need to see Nyoka drunk real quick. I guarantee you I know where she is though. Wait. Maybe I'm wrong. Nyoka, where the fuck are you? Hey, Sam. It's Vicar Max. It's Ellie. It's also Sam. There's Ellie. Where the fuck is she? Captain, I hope you made the right decision by siding with MSI. You would have judged me no matter what decision I would have made. There is no right answer. That's the thing. There, there really is no, like, correct answer. I could take Ellie. I feel like her witty dialogue would be better than Nyoka. Nah, let's just take Nyoka. Fuck it. I do like Ellie as a character, but her ability is kind of eh. Nyoka's got the best ability. Bravati's the best character. Uh, Felix is just gay. Sam's cool. I like Sam. And, um... Vicar Max has a really nice character as well. <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mind the mess, sir. I haven't had a visitor since, uh... In fact, I've never had a visitor. Why are you on the other side of this wall? You... I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it. But Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Hooray! Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium, the crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. In order to do the impossible, you must first divide it into a series of smaller, less impossible tasks. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Uh-huh. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. I said I don't have to track down a fucking nav key this time. Thank God. Do you have money? Oh dude, level 24. I get a new perk too.
Ooh, I really like the level 60 of inspiration. That's actually really nice. Oh, dude, my long guns is like an 80. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll upgrade my heavy weapons. Oh, whoops. Apply. Perks. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Tier 3. Science weapon. Uh, steady hand. Armor. Ooh, armor mouse is not bad. Carrying capacity I don't need. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot about that fucking ability. <laughs> I haven't even been using it. Uh, ooh, revenge is nice. Uh, any daring companions are revived with a small amount of health. That's kind of nice. So I might take that one. Yeah, I think I'll take, uh, Don't Do Die on me. That sounds pretty nice. I can just instantly revive a, uh, a companion with a fucking med pack. Hell yeah. Look at fucking Nyoka's stupid face. But yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Oh, fuck. I was about to say, how the fuck did I even get this thing in here? But there's a door way over there. Dude, it's a vault. Alright, so now we're on the next section of the fucking game, I suppose. I mean, I was pretty close in, like, completing uh, Monarch anyway. Like, I was pretty much right near the end last time I quit, so... Eh. Didn't take much to finish it. Like, now would probably be a... Drunk. Surprise. Surprise. Uh, would be a good point to end off on, but uh, I haven't been streaming for very long, so. Where the fuck is Nyoko? I want to see her drunk. There's not very much. This, this isn't a very big ship. She can't be far. There's Max. There's Ellie. Got big masses. Oh. Masses? Mega. Giant masses? Leave it to Sam. She's fucking dead, dude. I wonder if she's drinking more because we completed a companion quest. That would probably make sense, actually. <laughs> I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Hey, you got a problem with that? Now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Hell yeah. Can we talk? What's up, Ellie? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. Go on. I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Which brings us to where we are today, several messages and a few years late. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. Surprise! But I worked so hard! I dropped the accent, picked up a swagger, developed a taste for spacer's choice. Huh. Well, I bet they won't know the difference. I bet they'll barely recognize me.
reconnect is a strong wasn't sure if the top I probably should have gone on the top option. And uh I was thinking you'd come too. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. Um You're the boss. Anything else? What did I tell you? His down with the man shtick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Take a page out of my rule book. Don't trust anyone. Then it's easy. Don't get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature. Same as gravity and conservation of motion. This is why I hate metaphors. <laughs> Look, I see a lot of people, inside and out. When you get down to it, we're all made of the same stuff. Once you accept that, nothing much surprises you. See, this is what I like about you. You may not be from here, but you fit right in. You're not I, where even I'm oh right I'm that from that the colony we'll I'm from New home. Vegas technically let's think of, if you really think about it and here I thought I'd seen it all this galaxy must be bigger than I'd thought I missed what you was Enough talking about Harlow though anything else I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Then we'd better hope he doesn't blow himself up while we're gone. Or if he does, that he has a killer insurance policy. In either case, you should know Wells isn't the only game in town. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. <laughs> Don't think of it as being a lackey. Think of it as doing a job and getting paid really, really well. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. Hey, don't get any ideas. <sighs> I'm just making sure you last long enough to pay me at the end of this. Anything else? You're not getting paid? Well, I guess I'm taking Ellie then. I mean, I was tempted to take her before, but now I've pretty much got, like, the, a reason to take her. I didn't even realize she was a prison tansy, and even though I said to her that I picked it up, I had no fucking night clue. I was like, oh, yes, no, I could totally tell that you're a Brizantantian, or whatever the fuck I pronounce it. I keep thinking it's Brizantine, because that's the actual colony that they're based off. Well, I call them Brizantines, but the, the pr pronunciation is uh, Brizantine, or whatever the fuck, I don't know. Words are hard, dude. Look at this Anyone, fucking... I'm needing someone. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah. That's my code name for... You know. Our mutual friend. Yeah. You're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. 
Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Whatever. I'm better with bird terms. Oh jeez, this is a fucking... Hold on. So I gotta go upstairs, and then, yeah, right up. Oh, so I just noticed that both of them are in the same fucking outfit. Letter armor. Leather armor. Yep. Same fucking armor. Nice. Well, at least my girls are matching, I suppose. I can't be too mean. It's a pretty good idea. The big fucking difference between these floors. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? Why does everybody here wear these stupid fucking? There's those street smarts. Just the right amount of rough around the edges. Next time, we'll have you say that over the rim of a trippist out. Product placement, baby. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? I am my own agent. Fresh natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a no. hit. But we still need a star, and I think you got the chops. Not so fast. First, we gotta talk about royalties. Let's just see where this audition goes, huh? So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Terrific! We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. Yeah, I'll do that later. If and when I find the... Is that supposed to be a model of the system? Not super accurate. I once treated a lady who got her hand caught in the gear. Maybe it was more worried about her rings than her fingers. <laughs> that doesn't shock me. This is a big fucking place, but it's... Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial great cleaning solvent and desperation. <laughs> There's a lot of shit on this keyboard that I need to like clean. A glass for every class. What does that just mean? Oh yeah, that's very uh, um, communist of them. Yes, no, we have vodka for everyone. Oh, God. Marilyn, is that you? Mars, 
We certainly didn't expect to see you like this. You can, yeah, you can really see the. Expect you to renew your marriage contract, but we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. Hey, how you doing? I'm the bad influence. <laughs> what to say she's usually not like this come on you're supposed to help me make an impression anyway you're probably wondering where I've been all this time oh uh, I suppose the other not <clears throat> exactly the last few years have been a bloody haze you wouldn't believe the mess I love how the mess she's into. immediately gone into that home and right? started bragging oh right Are you trying to make me look bad? <laughs> Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. Oh, I don't have the perception for it. It's the floors. You had the floors redone with real Terran marble? Since when can you afford that? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. You what? Well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Why did you do that? We had to explain your disappearance somehow. We couldn't very well tell people you'd you'd run off to become a a miscreant, could we? <laughs> <laughs> Someone could hear you. We concocted a story about Celeste Jolly Girl designing a pair of 12-inch heels for you. One of a kind, naturally. That led to your tragic death when you tripped and broke your neck. Wow, what a shitty way to go out. It's quite the story. People were talking about it for weeks. Couldn't you have at least made up a better story? Something with pirates or raptodons? And what are you going to do now that we're here? Yes, um, about that. We were just about to ask you to, uh, leave. Quietly, if you don't mind. Hmm. She hasn't changed a bit, I see. That's it? You just want us to disappear now? Marilyn, please. Don't cause a scene. <laughs> Damn right, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. We'll talk over here. Just away from them, but I want to have them in the background. Let's talk outside. Oh, let's talk outside? Okay. Outside it is! Uh, where's the front door? Never mind, I found it. Can we 
we talk? Can you believe those two? We'd hardly been there a minute, and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. I wanted them to get upset. I just thought it would play out differently. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid Aetherwave dramas, and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider, and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open mouthed. What is this, a fucking sitcom? Shh, I'm getting to the good part. I'd have a great one liner in the tube. I was thinking either the leather's fake but the scars are real, or oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one day. Now, getting back to my story... I just wanted the free experience. Father would throw his hands up, because this would be just like me, to come back and make a big scene. Then, Mother would do the old, You had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red, and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. I don't get mopey. I get mad, caustic, indiscriminately aggressive. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. And I've got a reputation to maintain. Do you? I'm used to rough situations. Like when someone loads your pistol with blanks and strands you in a Marauder Moon base. Or traps you in an airlock with an angry mantis worm. Uh-oh, it looks like we're in for a big talk. I always thought I knew that. Didn't realize it would take getting stabbed in the back to really get it. Good thing it happened with a couple top rungers who can't stick worse than a butter knife in me. They've got no idea what a real double cross looks like. Much less a hefasty and triple cross. Or an inverted Olympian blind cross. The fuck do any of those mean? Wait a second. What if I could get that money? I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary, all the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing, and I'll get to cut them off. You know me, Captain. I don't like to leave a debt unpaid. I've already got plenty of bits, My but... My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. Well then. That's a lot of experience I just got for that. Miss Ellie, or, er, uh, Dr. Finhill, I noticed your pistol's been making a funny noise. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. All right. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. What? Everything's got a price. You got your price right here. Why, why, why are you carrying around a spring in your pocket? Hello? Specifically for a uh, bolter pistol? I have several questions. Anyway, um... When I went back at the start... I guess we're going to Fallbrook. Ugh. I'm not going to Fallbrook right now.
fucking back. You. I'm part of. This guy's off his fucking face, detail, dude. And that means you got to keep five feet back. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard <laughs> right here. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. <laughs> oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. Just like in his posters. Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> They don't give those out to just anyone. I wouldn't mind one of those uh, UDL shotguns. Yeah, I've nearly made it to the top, my friend. I'm just two promotions away from on-the-job bathroom breaks. Jesus Christ. That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Bravati, sure that's the idea, you fucking idiot. Big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You're not very quiet. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Do I? I don't know. I need to buy one first. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple Spectrum Vodka? One part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Then you'll want to speak with our auto-mechanical inebriation assistant, located just over there. Oh, I'm speaking to the wrong person. Quite so. But I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. My auto-mechanical assistant does all the work for me. Wow, okay. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. <clears throat> nice. Request confirmed. Banter protocol activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House of Inebriation. <clears throat> Studies have shown that drinking in the vicinity of extremely valuable objects such as this auto mechanical bar <laughs> can enhance the quality of your intoxication. And uh, what the fuck did he want? Spectrum vodka. There we go. Uh, boy, I want one. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got Do you another? fucking chug that vodka? Okay, I'm just gonna buy a bunch. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. If I hadn't known that I need to give this guy fucking multiple vodkas to make him talk, and I would have bought multiple vodkas. There we go. Alright, now I've got plenty of vodka to fill this guy with. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Oh, so I'd like to point out, why does the vodka make a uh, pop soda noise when you unbottle it? Like, what? What kind of fucking vodka does that? 
All lost. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? He's really chugging I these don't down. Feels so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Just don't puke over me, thanks. He's fucking dead. Also, the shotgun that they get is fucking garbage. Like, hello? Oh, that's what UDL stands for. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Minister Clark's a private man, and you're asking too many questions. Well, I don't want to just shoot my way in. Because I know damn well it's going to bite me in the ass if I do, so... Uh, let's head down here, see if I can find this fucking package for him. I love how there's so many fucking acronyms in this world, like, you know, UDL, MSI, HPS. Like, fuck me dead. You could have a full-on conversation with letters. Yeah, I'm in now, uh, ITT, and I gotta schedule down the EDS on no, the, the H HPS uh, service. Wow, that was easy. I think I might need to uh, increase my lock picking, by the way, because I think that was like pretty close to my maximum. Well, so I don't think I need to spend it on anything else. So. Oh, sorry, I had to stare at my stream for a second there because I thought my uh, thing was frozen, but no, it's good. You Apparently sure there's a back door, phone, but... Huh, Dr. Fenhill? Ellie. And sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. Still, though. Don't you find it thrilling, being in space? Look, it's just Ellie. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Chasing us off already? 
This feels familiar. Ma'am, please don't cause a scene. I want you to know I'm holding back for your sake. Do you have any actual business here, or...? Yeah? Let's see it. Huh. Looks like your papers are in order. All right, go on through. I mean, I probably could have gone out th through the back and sneaked through, but... This works just as well. Like, yeah, I'm just the delivery boy. I swear I'm not carrying enough armaments to kill an entire army. I had to kill a small army, I should say. Also, it helps that these two are matching uniforms. Hey, how you doing? How did you get in here? How you doing? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh wow! Bravati. So, this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. Are you two done chipping in? about another Aether Wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Have I not made myself clear? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, <laughs> I tell Charles to go fuck himself. I'm not with Charles. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. I don't know if our chemicals are here, but this guy is definitely not. Will that be all then? of elimination the only other person with access of course of course it's rockwell again who else and i thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way you are a quick study indeed i've long suspected rockwell of transacting business in my name but this proves it you've been all alone in this house would, would you like me to make you tea? Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. After seeing this place, is it really a stretch? I've been confined to this house for years, and even I can tell you, things aren't right in Halcyon. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Yes, thank you, Bravati. I did get that uh, the Things same have been vibe. Off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. That's what we this do best. Is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Who? Hey. We're discussing industrial espionage, legal redress, the possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. Thank you. 
via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Well, you won't have much human company down there. Plenty of sprats and auto mechanicals, though. Nothing I haven't dealt with before, when then. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. Wait. Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. You're awful trusting for a guy who's been locked in his own house for years. The Earth Directorate is our best hope. Even Rockwell's resources are no match. And it is hardly in their interest to let Halcyon crash. Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. <laughs> Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District. Can do. Oh, hey, Ellie and Bravati leveled up. Wait, no. Alright, what do we got for tier 5? Uh, comeback effects last longer. When this companion takes damage, they take armor. Uh, yeah, I'll take the armor, thanks. Ah, oh, it's Q for the time dilation thing, right. Although nobody seems to give a shit that I just casually walked into his fucking room. I didn't walk through the fucking front door, but still. Like, I'm not an idiot. I just went around to the fucking side door and everyone was like, Yep, nothing wrong here. Like... <sighs> These guards really aren't the smartest fucking, uh, aren't the brightest bulbs in the, uh, the bunch. Oh, fuck. Oh boy, I have another Discord ping. Gee, I wonder. It's almost like two o'clock. Nice. Who the fuck said that? Hold on, that's a named NPC. For the last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. Now, if you'll excuse me. How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. You talking mad Why, shit for somebody within voring distance. As lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. <laughs> hmm. Admittedly, 
Now, if only you could gracefully take a shower, preferably in whatever hovel you came from. God, why are rich? Honestly, what is the why are rich people such so dicks? Of your ilk into the city proper. It's madness. I earned my place here, just like everyone else. My grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. Not CEO? I just told you. My grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, and I earned them from him. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful. And if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's a simple concept. Hmm. <clears throat> Makes sense to me. Chief Idea Officer. He came up with all the best ideas for their products. You know the font they use for Stogie Slims? That was him. Well, he described the idea of it to their font development team, then picked it from a list of choices, but that's basically the same thing. It was a very long list. Font development team. I'd like to point out that that's the actual fucking thing. Let's see. He picked the colors they included in rainbow chips. No one else wanted purple, but he insisted. Everyone loves the purple ones. And you know how the Cosmic Smokes logo has an eye in the middle of a heptagon? He said that one came to him in a dream. He was a true visionary. So far ahead of his time. I'm not the only one listening to this shit, right? You're welcome. Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. We're not having this but debate now again. now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful. And this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. The worst thing to happen to Halcyon. A contest that gives even the lowliest and most inefficient workers a chance to live in Byzantium. By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me, how is that fair? Well, it should be if you pay enough. <laughs> it's not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know, you look like you've been... I was wondering where the fucking quest was, and I'm like, this is a named NPC that's talking shit at me. There's gotta be a fucking quest in there somewhere. She's got a point. We're probably gonna get shot at anyway. Might as well make a few bits. Yes. Listen to your... Your... Companion. What is that person's job, exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Doctor, actually. Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you think this is a fabulous Doctor, arrangement. Doctor, engineer. And you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? Fantastic. Consider yourself employed, Vagrant. I hear the chosen retirees all enter the retirement district via the port landing pad, but it's completely locked down. You'd never get in that way. Unless, of course, you had a wealthy, beautiful benefactor of impeccable social pedigree. Which you do. How fortunate for you. These codes will get you past the lockdown. Oh, and don't worry about subtlety. I don't care how you deal with security, just correct this injustice at all costs. Hmm, interesting. Alrighty, now then, let's uh, let's do this side quest, shall we? Nice thing about traveling with the captain, we meet all sorts of new people. Sure, best part is when they pay us. They? 
We never really had new folks in Edgewater, except the captain. It's kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. You ready to be a movie star, kid? I know I am. For all auditions, please use the elevator on the left. Thank you, receptionist bot. I really do like the fact that they're matching. I just need to get a new ha uh, new My helmet for Ellie. That business is highly civil. If you could just leave me back at the ship, I'm sure there's something I ought to be fixing now. Nope. Great, you made it. Listen, I know you're expecting a script, but you're the real deal. Just go in there and do what feels natural. We gave the other actors real weapons to keep things authentic. And because Josh is paying to see their logo on the big screen. See, I knew you'd get it. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. Well, well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? You're too late. All of this Settlement CNP Hungry Time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler, are ours. You really can't tell where the, uh, the stomach, product stomach placement is. ...and baseline vitamin content, we will be nigh unstoppable. They... they are? What an unexpected... <laughs> you may have fooled me for now, but not for long. Are we on camera now? Because I really don't care to be. Shh, Bravati. Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down across the void of space while flaming debris fell like rain around us. What indeed? I had you surrounded and outgunned. But you overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launcher. I've been waiting for five years now. Who the fuck uses grenade launchers? They suck. Ah, I'm missing all of these good options. Yes, it is. I have this whole port wired with some micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. Plasma's already a vapor like kind of thing. You can't re vaporize it. Can you? <laughs> Quiet, you're supposed to be an extra. I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. I... Line... Never mind, I think that's C. To the break room, everyone. I need my Moab fizzy tea. God, God. That was interesting, kid. Real novel take. Let's take five. I need to, um, buff up my, um, talking skills. Hey, listen, uh, I appreciate what you tried there. Um, we've got to review your footage before we make a final decision, though. Look, sometimes you just gotta wait for your break, you know? Here, take this for making the trip down here. Don't call us. We'll call you. Ah, oh, God, I hate that line. Don't call us, we'll call you. That's such an obvious... Yeah, no, you fucked up. Ugh. Yeah, I need more talking skills. Like, I'm such a appraiser of the fact that speech is OP as fuck, but, you know. I I'm not specking in the p uh, speech as much as I'd like to. So I really need to. 
Lie, intimidate, and persuade. Like, I really need to, um, to max those out more. I've pretty much got everything else where I want it to be, so... Ah, that's in Fallbrook, right. I was like, why am I not doing a companion quest? Am I- uh, that's why. Also, it's interesting to me that companions have multiple companion quests, I'd like to point out, because Ellie had one before we took her with her, and now we have another one, so... Oh, fuck. Can you not fly right in my face, you little shit? Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. You could have asked me, you know. What in the law's name are you on about? Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. Wait, hold on. Is, wasn't I supposed to go through the fucking, um, sewers? Fuck it, guess we're just walking to the front door. I never could have handled the desk job. Anything's possible with a lot of money. I mean, yeah, I could have shot my way through the bottom, but I didn't know where the uh, where the sewers were. So just walk through the front door. You ever get the urge to just hawk one on the floor? Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Uh huh. Anyway, I need to see the chairman, so. Our UDL security attendant is always prepared. Say your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Oh, geez. Now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? You don't have to be sarcastic about it. <laughs> Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Good to know. I still need to give Ellie a new fucking helmet. I keep fucking forgetting. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Ah, 
Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Hmm. Excuse me, just a moment. Huh? I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. <laughs> nice. That was surprisingly easy. One person gets all this space just to, to sign papers all day? Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Wow. That's a lot of shit to stomach. Well, that was all a story, wasn't it? It's not real. I don't know about you, but I'm all for living fast and dying young. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Bribe the guards, bullshit my way past the checkpoint. Lie to the front desk guy, and hey, Bob's your uncle, I'm already in. Surprisingly easy. Can be both admired and feared by the same faction. How would that even work? Like, oh my god, he saved us from all these people, but he also shot like my friend, so I don't know how to feel about him. Like, that's kind of weird. What? Also, what the fuck is this map? Oh, it's way down there. Okay. 
You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellis? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... You seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. I think I know where I'm going. Hopefully. And every time I look at these two, I keep reminding myself, fuck, I need a new helmet. Or a hat, or just something decent for Ellie. I don't like putting helmets on companions, I've noticed. What's the worst part is you can't fucking take them off, so it's like, oh, I guess I'm stuck with this, aren't I? No, they don't give a shit about me. Finally. Oh, it's not even worth it, to be honest. Yeah, let me just walk through the door. Apparently they don't give a shit, so fuck it. Uh, it's two o'clock. How long have we been going for? Two and a half hours? So that's a decent amount of time well, for a stream. To the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center. You, the lucky few, have been selected to spend the rest of your days living the high life in your own private district. in Byzantium. When you arrive, you'll be whisked away to your very own luxury penthouse, furnished exclusively by 24-7 Furniture's Deluxe Falskowood Collection. So After you get settled in, you'll have the chance to explore. You know, I probably should have... Why not go for a bite at one of our many restaurants? Like CMP's Blazing Borsa. Well, barbecue, fuck me. Or Rizzo's All You Can Crunch Cereal Buffet. Or maybe oh. you'd like to head to the bar and enjoy an ice God bless teleportation. Oh, it's a flamethrower.
Well, fuck me, there's like everything coming in now, so... I don't have anything to do with robots. Whoops, not the button I wanted to push. Oh wait, how did you teleport behind them? Hello? Well, I might as well uh, look around, see what I can find. But uh, hey, at least now we know why they fucking not letting anybody in, because it's literally a fucking murder ground. Why well, was I surprised? I sh I should be shocked, but like, you know, it it smelled wrong. Ellie, get out of the fucking way! Motherfucker. Hey, a workbench.
Oh, I already had a fucking... Oh, well. Oops. Didn't even, I didn't even realize I, st I had an electric fucking light machine gun. You know, I still need to watch one of these Tarsball games just to see what the fuck they're on about. I bet that... Uh, would it be entertaining? Probably not. It, it looks like lacrosse, kind of. Like the... The actual Tarsball sticks? That's what they kind of remind me of. Is, lac is lacrosse even the right sport? I actually don't know. I might be thinking of something completely wrong. Oh, um... What are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Uh, does it... does it look like I'm up to something? Laws, I knew it! Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow. But they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. <clears throat> they escaped. And before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry, you can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Ah, uh, that explains the white ones. And do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. Well, guess we're going back down into the tunnels. Oh, so this is where I was supposed to go uh, to get into the... Prime Minister's house. Whatever the fuck he was calling himself. Give me a little shit. I'm actually running kind of low on light ammo. That's the last of them. Nope, that's not working at all.
Not gonna lie, they actually kind of look cute. Dude, they were doing cocaine down here. Holy shit. Hey, little guy. How you doing? I missed one back here. Really likes that body, apparently. Well, now I gotta find this last one, wherever the fuck he is. Oh, he's sleeping. You can see it, baby. Little sleeping spirit. Well, that was easy. Just had to kill a few robots. Easiest day in my life. Well, yeah, you kill them all already, so. Ah. I think I might call it here, I reckon. Oh. Report back to this other bitch and then we finished. Any luck finding my sprats? There we go. Truly? Why this is marvelous. And all safe and sound. Look at these names. Oh, Reginald, Philippa, Vonda, Haroon, Iskander, Evelyn. I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Please, take this. It's not much, but it's the best I can offer for the safe return of my darlings. Now, I've got to get back to the lab before my supervisor logs my absence. Good luck with all your weird experiments and shit. Oh, it's a fire hydrant. I thought it was a camera for some reason. Also, a lot of these guards carry around size. I don't know why. I must admit, I'm getting a certain thrill out of our little arrangement. If this goes well, perhaps I'll start hiring wandering delinquents to handle all of my affairs. A lot of NPCs it didn't do, seem well, to do that. I hope. What? You mean it's just a sham they perpetuate so they can dispose of the rabble? That's... that's... Ingenious. Brilliant. Yeah. To take the most burdensome members of our society and simply remove them. Oh, I'll never doubt the wisdom of the board again. Why, I had no reason to be envious at I all. I should have lied to her. What a relief. And how else would I react? A vagrant such as yourself couldn't possibly appreciate the emotional burden this news has lifted from my shoulders. But regardless of your ignorance, I promised you a fee for your services, so a fee you shall have. Of course, as we agreed, I'm not one to break a contract. In any event, while I'm deeply grateful for the peace of mind you've brought me, I will need some solitude to fully bask in it. So if there's nothing further... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a shit. I leveled up because of you, so I can't be mad. Okay. Um. I bring my Intimidate up to 60. I get a new perk now. Uh, what the fuck do I need now, I guess? Let me look at the tier 2s. Oh, I imagine having all of those. You could just can you could just consistently fucking reset abilities. Hell yeah. Um I'm gonna get that one though. Extra headshot damage, oh yeah. And since we leveled up, that's a good place to stop, I reckon. Oh fuck. Probably should have lied to the bitch, but oh well, doesn't matter. I still a pretty good, uh, pretty good spot to end off on. Uh, felt weird actually streaming a normal game for once, but hey, we finally fucking done it. Now I can stop kicking myself for not streaming a normal fucking game because, like, that's what I've been not doing for ages. Uh, nobody decent is streaming, which is weird because I thought Pomp said he was going to stream. And he didn't. The fucking liar. Alright, cool. Well, uh... Guess we'll just call it here then. I'll see you all in like two days, maybe.